and start recording. All right, guys. So let's let's go through this so that we can um, so I can get let you go so you can continue working on this. But let's do work on um, the print. So you type print enter. You want to do a PDF, right? So Rhino PDF. And in this case, we'll do a letter size. We'll do a portrait, which is the orientation, but you can switch that right here. And the resolution, uh, that's fine. Output type, leave it at vector. And this is the difference between vector uh, output and raster output, which is an image uh, output. Uh, output color, let's do black and white. Okay, let's do black and white again. Uh, the next part of this uh, class, I'll show you guys how to work with line weights and how to adjust the, uh, the the final print quality. But for right now, let's do a simple black and white. Okay, so not the layered colors. It's just a simple black and white drawing. A output scale. All right, so this is important. All right, this is how we set the scale and how we adjust the view. Okay, so we know what we want to do the top view. And uh, the scale, let's see, let's do, it, it's gonna depend, right? I mean, some, uh, as I was going through your drawings, I mean, some of you guys uh, have larger rooms that, you know, probably you're, you'll need like a 3 8 or something like that. But you see how right now it's kind of difficult for me to tell which scales to use because the drawing is not centered on the sheet. Let me show you how to fix that, okay? So we have the view and output scale, right? So right now we're doing the viewport, right? But if you do a window, right, and you go to set, right? This is right here, the kind of ghosted tracing looking paper. That's the area that is gonna be print. That's, that's your eight and a half by 11. So before you click on anything, make sure that you go over here up top and click where it says move. Once you do that, you can position that print, uh, but not there. Let me turn out the O snap because that's kind of, kind of uh, getting in the way. There you go. All right, so right click. And that's, that's looking okay, right? Now, I want you guys to work with your text though. Right, um, the same rules apply. Right, I mean the same rules that we've been uh, applying to Illustrator, uh, to your boards, to your presentations. Right, hierarchy, titles, layout. Right, that's too large of a text for what we're looking for right now. And I want you guys to include uh, the name of the drawing. Right, so this is the bedroom floor plan. And then the scale. And the area. So three things right here. Right? So drawing name. D double G name. Right. Name, scale. And this is the drawing name, and then the area. And then on the bottom right corner, I want you guys to add. Oh, what? Another one? That's, yeah, that's one of the beauties of Mexico. El Fierrero is loud. Yeah, and that's the second one. Actually, that's a competition right now. Actually, uh, it's the first time that this guy comes by. So there's two of them now. So they're going to have to battle for the territory, I guess, or something. Um, yeah, but if you are if you haven't had the pleasure, right, I mean, of, 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 uh, of being in Mexico, if you go to Mexico City, it's actually quite amazing, all of the different sounds of the street. But if, what, what you guys just heard, if you're not familiar, that's a... Uh, as Antonia put it, that's the Fierrero guy. So that guy goes around town and he buys uh, very cheaply um, and I, almost anything that you don't want. Dishwasher, fridge, just 
a gate, a window, a door that you don't want, he'll buy it from you. From the comfort of your home, you don't have to leave the home. He comes to you and he'll take it from you. Um, all right, so drawing name, scale area, and your name, and class info down here, okay? And work with the scale, guys. The scale may work for you at a, at a half an inch. Uh, you might need to turn it down into a 3 8 I'm not sure if you have to go as small as one quarter. Maybe if you have a gigantic kitchen or something like that, which is okay, you know, just adjust that. And for right now, I think that will be it. Here on the settings, we have margin settings. You can look into that. We have the line types and line weights. We'll talk about that uh, later. Um, And visibility, well, you can see what that gives you. And, and we go to print, and you um, find a place to, right? So this would be the bedroom. Um, save it. Um, are we also doing the measurements for the furniture and room in general? Great question, Eduardo. The answer is no. No, we, we, the the furniture, the furniture and the equipment and the um, what else do I have? Fixtures. That's um, that's not necessary. That would be way too many uh, dimensions. It's just the um, think about it as the architecture. The, the room, the, definitely the room, the windows, the doors, closets, openings, eh, kind of that. Great, great question. All right. Um, all right, guys. So I think that that's kind of it, hopefully. Um, at, at least for the, uh, the drafting exercise. Hi, is, is anyone there? Question? No? I actually have a quick Grace? question, sir. Uh, yeah, do you want us to include ourselves in that picture the same way you included yourself? Yeah, you know, or or someone. I mean, I don't know your significant other, your your dream partner, or whatever. Uh -huh. um, yeah, just just so that you practice with the with the uh, the scale figures. Um, yeah. Okay, awesome. And do you want it in us in every room or just per se our bedroom? Yep. Yep, that's correct. So right here, uh, I'm uh, right here. I'm uh, about to brush my teeth, chilling, watching TV, and chilling, reading, whatever. <laughs> you see, the the, the person in, in multiple locations. But but of course, you guys are doing it in in different rooms. This is this is what we're getting into, but this kind of illustrates your question. Yes. Awesome. Not Thank you very much. Anyone. Yes, you're welcome. Yeah, remember, we're, we're still keeping the drawings kind of separate like we are right now. All right, question. Hi, Melissa. Do you want to speak out loud or do you want to type? I have a question. Oh, no. Do we include the door swing? Yes. Yes, please. Do I not have that? I may not have it on this drawing because actually, believe it or not, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And what Melissa is asking about is this right here. So we draw a circle. Actually, you can do an arc. Oh, snap. And I'm going to do a start point from there. End of arc there. Huh. That's not what I want. Let's do radius. No. Hmm. Oh, well, let's go right here. This tool, arc. Center of arc, just go right there. And start of arc, and the end of the arc right there. And that would be your door swing. Uh, yes, good question, Melissa. Later on, I'll show you guys how to turn your 
uh, your swings, your door swings into dash lines so they look a little bit uh, cleaner. So yeah, let's include the door swing, good question. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you guys. Uh, let's just talk about what's due next week, okay? So for next week is gonna be the upload of the, the drawings that you're doing right now. And uh, it'll, be, it'll be something very similar to, to what you guys did by hand. Um, I think. Did we do them separately? Yeah, like this, right? I mean, so we'll do them separately by room. Um, and I'll just be the, the, the final image, right? Black and white. And we're going to see how this evolves because later on we're going to be, well, you'll see. Um, so upload that. So there's a, there's a research, you know, just a short one. I want you guys to research Rhino layout. Rhino layout or Rhino sheet layout. Start familiarizing yourself with this tool. Right, start start uh, familiarizing yourself with what uh, what it does, right? How to use it, and what do we get out of it? All right. So watch some videos on Rhino Sheet Layout or Sheet Layout or Rhino Layout. All right. Um, question: The angles doors is something to have in count. The angles doors. What do we mean? Uh, are you talking about, hold on, let me close too many windows. Emmanuel, are you talking about, hold on a second. Are you talking about this angle right here? This one? Yes. All right. So that's actually a great question. Um, So typically, right, um, one of the rules that I've heard, uh, not everyone applies it, but um, if it's a, an existing door, meaning that it's already in place, uh, you want to draw it at a 45 degrees. If it's a new door, you want to draw it at 90 degrees. I'm not, re I'm not really sure where I heard that, who told me that. If anyone can confirm that, that would be great. But that's what I've heard. Um, but... Um, but so yeah, uh, does it matter? No, you could do it at 45 or 90 degrees. Like I said, some of these rules are so old that you don't even know if they're still apply or whatnot. The fellowship of the architecture. So I don't need this anymore. All right, now the last part guys, and this is gonna be a fun part, um, but let's get you set up for it. Um, I want you guys to go to the uh, 3D warehouse. Some of you guys might be familiar with it already. Um, some of you guys might not. That's okay. But uh, create an account here. All right. And uh, what this is, it's a uh, it's a uh, blocks, but on steroids. Uh, uh, that's not a good description. It's blocks. It's 3D blocks, really. It's 3D models, honestly, that's more what it is. So the 3D warehouse is right here. It used to be owned by Google SketchUp. It's now owned by Trimble. And let me sign up. So if you don't have an account, that's fine. You can still use it. And you can find a lot of things here. Nowadays, almost everything. Um, but these are 3D models. I'll show you guys how to work with them. Some of them work, some of them no, don't. Um, but if you do create an account, which is what I'm asking you guys to do, right? Um, you can create what's called collections, all right? And it's really helpful uh, because it's a time saver, right? So if you go to my content, I think, and then you go to folders, collections. And you see right here, I have one collection. Uh, this is very old, mine. I could definitely uh, do some cleaning here and create more collections because I just have everything on one single collection. Um, 
these are all kind of uh, my go-to models, right? So if I need a couch, I don't have to spend hours looking for a couch that I like. I already have a sofa right here that I like, right? If I'm looking for a center table, bam. Uh, and some of these I've used for projects, some of these I've used for, I don't even know what. Some of these are just cool, like this Volkswagen truck. Uh, I don't think I've ever gotten to use in any project, but it's cool. Um, kitchen. So don't just take it easy, right? I mean, uh, be patient. I just need you to create an account for now so that next class I can show you how to uh, work with this if we get to it. But start, start looking around and create your own collections, right? So that you don't have to spend time during class like, oh, do I like that share or do I like this other share? Just just create your own collection so you can have your go-to models. And that's my little speech right here. Just wait. Do not use these right now for your 2D drawings. They're gonna slow down your, your file and they're just gonna be not very useful right now because they're not gonna print correctly. They're not gonna look correctly. So again, let's use 2D blocks for 2D drawings. We'll use the 3D models library for your 3d model of your spaces which is coming okay which if you get to you can start definitely but but you don't have to all right so that's that guys that's all i have for you guys today and any questions before we uh part ways all clear All right. Yeah. If you have, if you uh, have any questions, stick around. Stick around after class. And Lorenzo, I got your email. Uh, if you're here, I would love to talk to you, but you're not. Uh, so that's okay. Um, any other questions? No. All right, guys. Vaya con Dios. I'll see you guys um, next week. Happy Easter's, I think, right? Is this Sunday? Wait, so this is due Tuesday at 2 a.m. Uh, that's correct. ISIS. Um, I don't think I specifically addressed it, but um, well, it's due next week, yeah. Don't wait though. Don't wait. Just, just get it done. <laughs> but we talked about this, right, Isis? You know it already. <laughs> All right, Isis. Sounds good. Uh, thank you, you too. Uh, I'll stop the recording now.